Hello and good afternoon. I'm James Preston reporting live from Kalkine Studios. It's lunchtime here in Sydney and it's time for the Mid-Market Pulse. In today's show, we'll look at the overall Australian share market performance by the mid-session trade, the day's biggest winners and losers and those that are making headlines. Australian shares continue to move into the negative terrain by the afternoon with tech, telecom and healthcare stocks dragging the market lower. However, firm buying across the energy and mining space capped some of the losses. Travel stocks also witnessed a surge in buying as sentiments were lifted by a mega deal to acquire Sydney Airport. By the afternoon trade, the ASX 200 was down by 16.1 points or 0.22% at 7,440.8. Snapping a three-session gaining streak, the benchmark index opened marginally lower today, undermining firm cues from Wall Street from Friday. On the sectoral front, seven of the 11 sectoral indices were trading in the red zone, led by the telecom and tech spaces. The telecommunications services sector was down by 1.4%, followed by over 1.3% in losses from the Information Technology Index. The healthcare sector also dropped by 1.25% by the mid-session. Amongst others, consumer staples, consumer discretionary utilities and financials were all feeling pre pressure under the selling space. Bucking the trend, the energy sector emerged as the best gainer, snapping a two-session losing streak. The energy sector gained over 2%, followed by a 1.1% gain in industrials, and the materials sector also rose 0.8%, led by gold mining stocks such as St. Barbara, Evolution Mining and Regis Resources. Let's now shift our focus to the top gainers and losers by mid-session trade. The top loser on the ASX pack was healthcare equipment manufacturer Polynovo, which fell 8.8%. Some of the other top laggards were biotechnology firm Kleinuval Pharmaceuticals, media and entertainment business Domain Holdings Australia, media firm Ria Group and financial services firm NetWealth Group. On the gaining side, gold miner St. Barbara topped the chart by rising 5.6%. The other top performers were Qantas Airways, travel business Flight Center, gold producer Evolution Mining and oil producer Beach Energy. And now before we unpack some more stocks, let's take a very small break. Hi there, James Preston for Calkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Kalkine's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Kalkine TV. Welcome back. I'm James, reporting live from Kalkine Studios in Sydney, and you're watching the Mid Market Pulse Show. Let's move on to stocks that created a buzz on the ASX today. Shares of BHP Group traded 1.5% higher after the blue chip miner unveiled a plan to divest stake in Mitsui Coal. The iron ore miner has signed a share sale and purchase agreement with Stanmore SMC Holdings to offload its 80% interest in Mitsui Coal, an operated metallurgical coal joint venture in Queensland. As per the deal, Stanmore will buy 100% of the shares in Dampier Coal from BHP Minerals the subsidiary which holds BHP's interest in BMC for cash consideration of up to US $1.35 billion. Shares of Sydney Airport gained nearly 3% after it accepted a takeover bid from an infrastructure investor group which is touted to be one of Australia's biggest ever buyout deals. Australia's only listed airport operator informed its shareholders this morning that it has unanimously recommended an Australian $23.6 billion buyout offer from Sydney Aviation Alliance, comprised of Australian investors, IFM investors, Q Super, Australian Super, and US based global infrastructure partners. Shares of News Corporation dropped nearly 2.5% after a very disappointing annual earnings report. The media agency had reported a net loss after tax of 60.7 million Aussie dollars in the last financial year. 
The loss was attributed to higher operating expenses and a rise in sales and administrative costs. The US-based company disclosed the performance of its local publishing arm following a reorganisation of News Corp's legal ownership structure. The EBITDA stood at $48.6 million Aussie dollars, down from 61.7 the previous year. Shares of Aristocrat Leisure slipped nearly 2% after Aussie gambling machine manufacturer issued an update on its bid to acquire British gambling software developer Playtech PLC. The company said that Gopher Investments is seeking access to certain due diligence information from Playtech, which has provided in accordance with the UK takeover code. Aristocrat fears that Gopher's approach will result in an offer for Playtech, nor as to the terms on which any offer may be made. Last month, the boards of Aristocrat and Playtech had announced a recommended acquisition of Playtech by Aristocrat for 680 pence, which is $9.35 Australian per share, in cash for each Playtech share that was held. Also, shares of Incitec Pivot fell 0.7% after the fertiliser maker said it would stop manufacturing operations at its Gibson Island plant. The company in an exchange filing said that operations at Gibson Island will cease at the end of the current natural gas feedstock supply arrangements which expire at the end of December 2022. The decision was taken after the company failed to secure an economically viable long-term gas supply for the plant. Well, that's a wrap for this edition of the Mid-Market Pulse, but keep watching Cowkind TV for the latest trending market updates from Australia and across the globe. I'm James Preston, signing off for now.